And I just want to say this right now. I did see Lego Movie Part 2 and How to Train Your Dragon 3. I saw Lego Movie Part 2 two weeks ago, and I saw How to Train Your Dragon 3 last week. The reason I haven't reviewed them was because I have been really busy, and recently we adopted dogs, so yes. I apologize. And so let's review How to Train Your Dragon 3. Now, before we get into this, let me give you a little background. I love the first two How to Train Your Dragon movies. I honestly do. Yeah, to me, they're the best DreamWorks has made. But here's the thing: after How to Train, after not How to Train Dragon, um, Kung Fu Panda 3, DreamWorks wasn't doing too good for me. After How to Train, after Kung Fu Panda 3, the only thing to come out out after Kung Fu Panda 3 that I liked was Voltron. And I didn't like the Boss Baby movie or the Netflix show. I didn't like Shira. Yes, I actually watched that show. May God have mercy on my soul. And I didn't like. Trolls or Captain Underpants. Pants. Yes. So I was like, okay, the only thing that is currently going for DreamWorks that I like is Voltron. And but I still held out hope for for How to Train Dragon Three. And I said to myself before seeing this movie, even though I was excited for it, I said to myself, if this movie isn't good or isn't as good as the previous two movies. I'm done with DreamWorks. I'm not seeing a single more movie made from them, and I'm just done with their company. So, I went to see the movie last week, and I loved it. This is probably, this is the perfect finale for this series, and I think this is the best note they could go out on. So far, out of the five movies I've seen this year, uh, I think this is easily the best movie I've seen this year. But, that's, but to be fair, the only bad movie I saw this year was the Kim Possible movie. We don't talk about the movie. Please, let's not talk about that movie. Um, let's talk about the story. Now, this movie does take place a year after the events of the first or the second movie, where Hiccup is the chief of Burke after his dad got killed by Drago when Drago um, got his own alpha and used the alpha to control Toothless. And Stoic pretty much pushed Hiccup out of the way and, and pretty much became a Quicksilver before Quicksilver. And they copied off of it. And that's how Marvel got the idea for Quicksilver. It's Quicksilver's character in Age of Ultron. And unfortunately, even though he's building even though he's building a new dragon utopia with humans and dragons, making them perfectly live in harmony, unfortunately, a villain by the name of Grimal isn't liking this and is all like, hmm, you need my help to take care of this boy. He is just a boy. And but he's interested when they bring up a night fury. He has killed almost every night fury except Toothless, and he has the perfect bait. The blue eyes white dragon. Okay, I know that joke was obvious, but I couldn't resist it. It is literally a blue eyes white dragon. I don't care what anyone says. It is a blue eyes white dragon. Okay. Um, and he goes to warn Hiccup, saying this: "Bring me your dragon boy, and your, the rest of your people will be spared." He goes all like, "Nah, I'm not having that today, boy." He, and Drago almost burns the village, but they try to escape, and they had to take down Drago. So no, not I mean Green Mole. Sorry, all right. So what do I think of this movie? It was really well done. The animation is spectacular in this movie. The characters I really liked. In fact, they pretty much gobbers gobber in this movie. He's pretty much a shipper. He's all like, so, uh, Hiccup, uh, when are you going to propose to Astrid? Okay, every time Gobber was on scene, he made me laugh. Laugh. Also, there's this, like, side plot with Snotloud, how he's, like, trying to marry Hiccup's mom, even though Hiccup's mom is pretty much old enough to be his mom. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but to be fair, this is talking about Snot Loud, and he's kind of a weird person. Listen, also, also, I like how the, the parallels between Hiccup and Grimmel is. Pretty much, Grimmel said and that he became, that he started becoming a dragon hunter ever since he found a, a night fury in the woods and killed it, and he became a hero to his village. Which, this is sort of like how t Hiccup met Toothless, how Toothless was in the wilderness, completely defenseless, and Hiccup was about to go in for the kill, but couldn't bring himself to do it. So pretty much the movie is showing that Grimal is what would happen if Hiccup took that that step and killed Hick and no, Toothless. It is really interesting to me. The only problem I have with this movie, and now this isn't a problem with the movie, is that right around the end of the movie where I was about to cry, some jerk in the theater, decided to have their phone go off. And I wanted to find that person and beat them up. Seriously, you do not turn, you, do people not know how to turn off their phones? 
or they're just dumb. Um, or they are Jake Quinn Logan Paul fan. And, and I also thought the movie was very fun with its comedic tone. Um, there is a scene where one of the twins, I'm sorry, I get them constantly confused. Like, they're pretty much like the same character. The female one, one is captured, and her way of escaping is by annoying Grimald to the point where he's like this, I have had it! You can leave! Get out of my sight, you crazy woman! Even though he could've just killed her. The only one that really bothered me was that, like, okay, this is a kind of a spoiler for the film. Um, so skip ahead like a minute later. Pretty much, Hiccup knows that Grimal is trying to do whatever he can to find Toothless. So do you want to know what Hiccup does? He lets Toothless go away to find the Light Fury. Hiccup, I get what you're trying to do. But maybe you should have sent some backup. You know that Grimo will do whatever it takes to get him. But, but other than that, the movie was really good. Um, the flying scenes are just as good as ever. I do think probably the flying in the second movie is better. And the climb, but to be fair, the climax of this movie is really, really awesome. They showed a lot of it in the trailer. Kind of a lot of it. And that ending, man. It was fried. If it weren't for that stupid a-hole in the theater who was all like, oh, God, turn on my phone for no reason. Um, so, and also I like the other characters. Astrid is pretty cool in this movie, as always. Um, Fish Legs is pretty funny how he can't find a sitter. Sitter. Wow, well, Fish Legs, I feel so bad for you. And overall, this movie was just really well done. I am easily going to give this film an S rank for a 10 out of 10. This movie is just phenomenal, and please, DreamWorks, DreamWorks, you have um, you have redeemed yourself after the bad stuff that has happened. Don't get me wrong, I love your show Voltron, but still, you know, just make movies like this. I don't think any DreamWorks film can ever top the Howard Train Dragon movies. I mean, I love the first two Kung Fu Panda movies. Well, I do like the third one, but it's not as good as the second, the second or th or first one. I okay, sorry about that quick edit right there. Someone was logging into my room. I love the first two Shrek movies. But I think 4 and 3 are just okay. And I really like the Madagascar movies. Um, I would highly recommend you see this movie if you're a fan of DreamWorks. Or if you're a fan of animation. Or a fan of, say, um, you know, How to Train a Dragon. This movie is amazing and I'm easily giving it an S rank. See you all later when I review The Lego Movie Part 2. Bye.